Attention, Michael's Monday Movie Rants are not reviews and do contain spoilers. You have been warned. What do you get when you're trapped inside a giant mall with a girl and some bandits are outside trying to harsh your mellow? Why, you get the 1991's romantic comedy Career Opportunities, starring Jennifer Conley, all rights reserved. But more importantly, you get this week's movie entitled Dawn of the Dead in 3D. I'm Michael, this is Monday, so let the movie ramp begin. This is the first time I saw George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead in 3D, or in 2D as well. But anyways, we went to the theaters, my son and I, and I swear to him, I said, I saw this movie before. I really did. And there's going to be a zombie uh, baby that's going to come out. And uh, turns out, I saw the Zack Snyder remake of this movie, and I didn't even realize it. I saw it about 15 years ago, or whenever it came out, or something. So they really should put remake in the title or something. Because people like me, you know, the same name, different movie, we fall into this trap. Anyways, I kept telling him about the zombie baby, and then at the end of the movie, I just shrugged and said, Oh, must have been another zombie in the mall movie I saw. And he just laughed. <laughs> All right. So my son and I were two of four people in the theater, which, of course, as you all know, is almost the perfect amount of people in the theater. Now, if it was just myself and my son, that would be perfection. But as it goes, we at least got to talk a little bit because the people were far enough away that they couldn't hear us. You know, I could have watched this movie at home. I mean, that's how good it was. It wasn't one of those movies like Smile or some cheesy, you know, horror movies which I needed an audience or I'd get bored or something. This movie stood the test of time. What we have here is Roger and Peter, who are two cops who decide to cut loose and hightail it out of there because the zombie outbreaks get worse and worse and worse. We see them in some sort of um, apartment building and it's just crazy out there they have ties to uh steven and francine who happen to be from the tv studio and guess what tv studios have they have choppers and steven knows how to fly it so the four of them all meet together and they go out for one wild ride yeehaw of course the helicopter runs low on fuel and going to uh little small airstrips out in the middle of nowhere kind of proves dangerous you know peter almost gets zombified if you know what i mean so good thing there's a large pennsylvania mall where the four of them can crash no 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 not crash the, i mean literally just land safely and have a place to stay and hang out and get supplies i don't mean crash anyways they do find what they need fuel and supplies in this huge mall and the mall is actually an ideal place because it just it's a character all of itself and it really gives you a sense that they're trapped but they do have an expansive amount of things to do they can you know get all the jewelry or money they want because they're there okay so how do they do it okay first they have to put 18 wheeler trucks on the entrances to keep all the rest of the zombie hordes at bay. And after that, it's hunting time. Well, that's what Peter says. And they go after and slaughter all the remaining zombies inside. So everything's gonna be perfect, right? Ooh, did I forget to mention that Roger got bit? Oh, yeah. One of the things is when they were trying to park one of the trucks, he got bit and yeah, that's a tough thing because he gets all zombie-like and Peter has to put him down. The best thing about this is that Peter buries him in like one of those parts of the mall where they have the trees and stuff. It's like fountains and trees and like shrubbery. <laughs> it's like they don't have an outside to bury him so they bury him in this artificial kind of way. It's just so awesome. Anyways, what about Steven and Francine? Well, they are dun-dun-dun in love. 
So of course they have to have a romantic dinner. And the three of these people, Peter, Stephen, and Francine, go on to have a grand old time for a while in the large mall. You know, Stephen even teaches Francine to fly the helicopter because, you know, nothing will ever happen to Stephen and nothing will ever happen to Francine. So, you know, we need to teach her, right? Oh, wait a second. Mm, as soon as you teach somebody your job, you're expendable. Oh, well, all heck breaks loose when a biker gang invades the place and it looks like what did they forget to do? They forgot to close the doors. Yeah, close the doors, fellas. You're leaving the zombies coming in. No, actually, the, the movie does show that they move one of the trucks and that's how the zombies get in. But that's hilarious that they just, they don't even care. They go in, they could have had the whole place without zombies to themselves with the three people. But no, no, they have to be all biker-like. I love the fact that they're driving around, they're riding around on the motorcycles in this mall. And of course, Peter's really cool. He's picking them off one by one with his rifle. Of course, Steven gets trapped in an elevator. And what does he go and do? He gets bit. He turns into a zombie. The best part of this, he's still holding his gun. It's dangling from his finger. You know, because he's zombified. <laughs> he's walking around with it. I love that. That's classic. You know, Francine, who happens to know how to use the chopper goes running for the chopper and Peter he's got an existential dilemma what should he do should he just sit in one of the back rooms and kill himself or should he get to the chopper like some badass well of course he chooses the latter he, he goes kicking and screaming shooting and fighting and the two of them escape in the sunset oh yeah Francine's pregnant it was a great movie I loved it better than that remake I saw from J Zack Snyder. And I like Zack Snyder, okay? I didn't like this as much as Night of the Living Dead, perhaps because that was the first kind of movie that I saw in this genre of Romero-esque zombie movies. And it just seemed so classic. I mean, it was in black and white, and they were in like a, you know, hunkered down into a, like a farm uh, house, and, you know, the zombies were coming in on them. But this movie is a great um, you know, sequel to that. It's wonderful. The fact that, you know, like I said before, the main setting is also kind of like a character in itself, the mall, and the whole nod to consumerism, you know, even in death, people flock to the shopping area. That's awesome. And by the way, yes, I do know that career opportunities took place in a Target, but don't watch that one because, you know, that one took place in one store, and this one took place in the mall. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. For more videos, please click the links above.